Hey YouTube, Homestead Prepper. Okay, I want to show you all, in my opinion, what is an easy way to pull the valve out of an old propane tank. Uh, if you're a prepper, there's a lot of uses you can use a propane tank for. Uh, it can be uh, used like a rocket stove, like BC Truck showed us. I mean, you could use it as a wood stove. Uh, you can use it as an auxiliary air compressor tank. I mean, there's the, uh, in this particular case, I'm going to use it as a uh, firebox for a smoker. But uh, I need to get that valve out of there. And an easy way I think we can do it is I've got this clamped in my vise like that. And that metal, that bottom ring just bends around there. And it seems to be on there pretty good. This valve is kind of hard to get to. Let's uh, let's, let's let's make it a little more exposed. I just happen to have a tool. You can use a grinder or whatever, but I think this is going to do it pretty quick and dirty. that come off of there no problem I like those torch blades I have uh, some conduits right here these are um, electrical these this is inch and a quarter I pulled this off of a job off of a service this is about I don't know two and a half feet long that one's about six feet long those are actually for another project that I'm doing but they're going to work in this application because this is going to fit right over like that. And we're going to take this. Oh, you know what, guys? I forgot to tell you. You need to make sure the valve is open. If you look in there, you press that thing in there. I've already let the stuff out of it. But you need to make sure that's completely empty or you're going to have a mess on your hands. It could even be fatal. So work at your own risk. and take all the necessary safety precautions so we're just going to take this and and see that is just spinning that right off of there pretty easy huh this will probably just twist out by hand There you go. I guess that's to keep you from overfilling it. Okay guys, that's just so how, how easy it can be. I want to show you guys how I cut open a propane tank. I've got some dry ice which is frozen carbon dioxide and you can see it sublimating very nicely right now. I've uh, tried to handle this stuff with my fingers but it, it really burns them really bad. Cold burn. And basically Pick this stuff up. And just put it in there. Got a hammer. Some of you might be asking why I'm putting dry ice in this propane tank. I, of course, did rinse it out twice. There may be uh, some type of combustible gas like propane in the metal. And what the carbon dioxide is going to do is displace the oxygen so there can be no combustion. So that's the goal. And I'm not going to be using a plasma cutter or a cutting torch. I'm going to be using just a saw with a metal cutting blade. So let me uh, I'll put a little more of this stuff in here. I'm going to put some tape over the top of it. And we'll let it fill up with CO2. And that way hopefully nothing goes boom. Okay, I got some of that crushed stuff right there. I'm just going to try and put it in. Ooh. Isn't too effective at it, but okay.
Okay, I don't know if you can see the uh, CO2 vapor coming out of there or not, but that tells me the tank's filled up. What we're going to do is put some a piece of duct tape over it. Now, that's not going to blow it up or anything, but we are displacing the oxygen out of the tank. So. Okay, you can see that stuff coming out of there a little bit. I kind of tried to plug it up so it doesn't all drain out because carbon dioxide is uh, uh, a lot heavier than regular air. I think it's uh, like 44 grams per mole and regular air is around 28 grams per mole. So it is a little bit heavier. So I want to fill the tank up and that way I can do some cutting and hopefully we don't have an explosion here. So uh, Mrs. Homestead Prepper, if you would back up a little bit and maybe get over there please just trying to hold the tank down well that's pretty cold right there that ice has formed Okay, I think y'all got the idea. Okay, I was successful and I did not blow myself up to kingdom come. I know a lot of other people that would use, uh, you know, they would just wash it out and, you know, they'd probably be alright. But me, I have to take the extra precautions. So, 
Uh, okay, well, I just want to show you guys that, and we do still have some frozen, frozen carbon dioxide still left in there, still doing its job. Uh, as far as cutting the tank open, I really like using a skill saw. I know a lot of people like using those little hand grinders, but I feel like I've got more control and I can do straighter cuts. But you know what? That's just me. Okay, guys, Homestead Prepper out.